Come on now, everybody, make a straight line. No pushing or shoving. I'll get to everybody. Oh, hi. I'm Bruce Blitz, and welcome to Cartooning with Blitz. Hold it one second. All right, everybody have to go home. I'll get to you all later. It's okay. We'll get to everybody. Got these resumes here. Got this wacky bunch of characters all applying for the part in my next cartoon. Because as the cartoonist, when you've got a blank piece of paper staring at you and a cartooning assignment, you have to create the right type for the role. And guess what? That's right. That's what we'll be doing today, creating the right type for the role. And we'll be spinning the wheel of features to help do that too later on. And for our feature of the day, crazy mixed up body parts. This is a lot of fun. And for our doodle trick, a bee lands on a guy's face. You'll like this one. The guy doesn't like it, but you'll like it. Okay, so let's get started and let's draw our first type. And it starts with a doodle trick. Now, as I said, we do a doodle trick later on, but we're going to start with a doodle trick and draw a spaceman. And S, S is for spaceman. See, if you start with an S, you've got it all made already, because most of the sketch is already done. Put you add a line like that. Let's put his eyes in. And some antennas. And a big smile. This particular spaceman doesn't have a nose. And his back. And now let's put his arm in. And he's holding the stick, which is how he steers his rocket ship. And his other one, he's waving at us. Because he's a friendly alien. Just like that. Okay, now we put him in a spaceship. Nothing more than an oval. Another oval. And some portholes. Yeah, it's a great character. i put that stick down here. And some dials and his dashboard. And now for the glass dome, like that. And let's have him flying over the earth. And some action lines show that he's moving real fast. And the oldest cartoon trick in the book, a window shows it's like a reflection or a glass. And let's put some color into this guy because he came out so good, okay? Let's see, I use my color tuning pencils for this. And I'll use green, green for his face, because he's an alien, right? Yeah, and as for his hands, uh, let's see, maybe we'll give him a red, a red outfit. Red and green, this is a Christmas alien. <laughs> and a little bit of blue, and you know what, I'm going to show you a little trick here. When you use blue on glass, it makes it look like a reflection. You know what, I'll use a little blue on his rocket ship. And there it is. Take a look at that sketch, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Play a little funky music for a funky sketch. Let's do another one. Let's go from an alien to a trick. Not a doodle trick. A trick to show you two faces from the same outline. Like, you take this face on the left-hand side, and it's the shape of, oops, excuse me, I'm going to tape this down, of an old man. And we're going to draw an old man, a great type to draw. And we'll start with a long, pointy nose coming down with nostrils. Just like that. And his smile, well, he's not a happy guy. So we'll make that line broken and come underneath the nose and one tooth coming out. And his eyes... Well, he's a crabby old man. Just like that. And a washboard forehead. And a couple silly hairs coming out the side. Now, a couple funny hairs out the top, too. Now, as I said, with the same basic facial outline, we can create a completely different face of a baby, which is the opposite end of a spectrum from that old man. And we're going to put the nose way down here and make it real small. You see that? And a big smile, like that. Keeping that smile very low to the chin line. And two little eyes. And instead of little, little hairs like that, we'll make it a little curly cue like that. And there you have it. So now, as you can see, you've got two completely different characters, all from the same facial outline. I like that sketch. Okay, well, let's do another one, and let's move up a little bit in age. And we'll draw a little girl. And I'm going to start with a pencil on this one, because I want to show you 
that this little girl is three heads tall because the proportions change as you get older and for a girl around five six or seven years old you only want to have that size so right there is the basic outline now I'm just putting that there as a guideline now let's draw a little girl her head takes up that much room and her body takes up the rest of this circle the second circle and her legs go down to here now we've got that basic outline there we're going to go back and we're going to draw her face a little nose, a big smile, and two eyes, and her ear, just like that, and her hair. Let's give her a big ponytail. Yeah, that's cute. Now let's have her arm going out this way, and she could be painting. Paintbrush in her hand. And this part here could be her dress. And you can put a belt. And the other hand, well, the other hand's hidden, it's on the other side. And these are her feet, her legs. A little curly cue there, that could be for her knees. And cut that right off there, and you have her socks, and you just put her feet in. And maybe we will put her other hand in there. We'll have her holding the paint palette. And put some splotches of paint on there. A couple splotches coming off. Maybe even a sound effect. Plink. That's a sound they make. And a big puddle. Maybe she's even standing in that puddle a little bit. You can even put the easel that she's working on. Yeah, good sketch. I'll put some color into this. Uh, let's see. I'll use my chalks for this one. I'll leave that white space there. And let's see. Let's get a real pretty color. Hey, I'll use my tuning pencil. I'll use a nice purple. Give her a check dress. That's the kind of thing you want to do for your cartoons. You want to get as much variety as you can into them. And that's it. Now... I want to go to the other end of the spectrum of the little girl and draw a superhero guy. And this is a little bit different than what we have been doing. When I say different, this is a little more cartoon realistic in that we're not going to have those big bulbous nose or circles. We're going to have it semi-realistic. I'll show you what I mean. And it's not very hard, although you may be intimidated by when you read comic books. I know that they're very tough with the anatomy and everything. But you know what? If we take it step by step, you'll see just how easy this is. So let's start with a hero type face and we'll start with a square and the bottom part of the square we come down like this now if you've got this you're pretty well home free now, what we're going to do is right about a little over halfway up put a line I'm working lightly there I'm not bearing down real hard and come down on one side with a heavier line. Now, by the way, you notice with this pen or any kind of marker pen, with a little bit of hand pressure, you get a thick and thin line. Now watch. See? Thick and thin. Started pointy, ended pointy, in the middle I had it pretty heavy. Now, one nostril, and the other nostril. Now, this side is not going to be as heavy of a line. Maybe a couple lines like that. You notice a lot of people, when they draw noses, they make it heavy, heavy, and then the bottom nose. And it's not always like that. Really, one side is giving a little more of a shadow, so the line would be heavier than the other. Now, right underneath the nose, we're going to make a rectangle. Actually, not a rectangle. It's really shaved off a little bit. See? It gets pointy on the end. And we'll close off those points. Okay, right underneath that, now here's where that thick and thin line is going to come in handy again, too. And that's going to be a lower lip. And you see, by making it like that, it looks like it's got some dimension to it. Okay, now for the eyes. And that line that we made is for the eyes. Now, all we have to do for eyes is darken it in like that, and then put the circle. Now, if you notice, half the circle is up underneath the eyelid. You don't see a complete circle, don't you? The rest of it's up here, you see? And I left that little white space. Now, for the bottom of it, a little bit of a line, maybe a double line. What you don't want to do is draw footballs with a circle in it. A lot of people do that, and that's not really the way to go. Now, we need eyebrows. Now, I want to give him some determined eyebrows, because he's a superhero. 
Now, right over here, we need some cheeks. Now, right equal with the nose, some light lines like this, and a strong chin like this, and it's coming together real nice. Now, an imaginary line from underneath the nose on is where the bottom of the ear goes. And it goes up to about there. And same thing on this side. And now for the hair, that's easy now. And you want to come up off that shape a little bit. It's some curly hair. Some hair coming down. And there he is, hero guy. Let's put a cape on him, some shoulders. And even right hero guy on him. How's that? I like that sketch. Matter of fact, I'll throw a little color into that. That's how much I like this one so much. And I'm going to use my chalks and lay it on its side. And go with those shapes. That's important. Here. Leaving a lot of white space on that. It really has a more of a highlight or a shine to it, doesn't it? Some a uh, little, little bit of brown. I see what brown's going to do is going to bring out that that side a little bit more even. Okay, that sounds good. That looks good. Red hair. And this is really red, isn't it? I think I grabbed too red. Too much red. All right. A little bit of yellow. And there he is. Hero guy. Okay, now I've got a real quickie for you. And it's done with a doodle trick. Just like the other one. And it's a pirate type. Now watch this. Start with his name. Joe. Joe the pirate. Okay, now. We take the O and we turn it into an I. Not the letter I. His I. And we blacken in the top part of the J. And let's make him, let's make him a happy pirate. So put his eyebrows up. And a big smile. And let's give him a big old chin. And you might be wondering what this loop is for. Well... That's part of his bandana, and it's got polka dots on it. Pretty tricky. Put his other eyebrow in there, and his ear, and of course an earring. And these look like, it looks like a little rabbit peeking out, but that's really the back of the bandana. Okay, now, you know what? Let's put a, a neck on him and a collar, a big pirate's collar, because you know you have to dress your characters correctly. And there he is, Joe the Pirate. I like that character. That's pretty good. Uh, let's do another one. How about a, uh, an opera singer? Okay, an opera singer is a great type to draw, and we start with a big oval, just like that, and a big smile that takes up most of that shape, just like that, and cut it right in half, and if she's an opera singer, her tongue's out, but she's singing a note, and all this has to get dark and dim because it's inside and it's dark. All right, now... Big cheeks, little pointy nose, and her eyes are shut tight. Eyebrows up. Now, here's what's going to make this look like an opera singer. It's the hairdo. First of all, a lot of fancy earrings, a bunch of circles. And her hair is pulled up real high with a bunch of curls on top. And a couple of hairs coming out the box, bottom here, and also... The cartoon effects and accessories, you know how important they are. Some musical notes. And uh, I think that does it. I'll give her a fancy necklace, too. Some quick color with my color tuning pencils. A little light peach for this. And some red for the tongue. Maybe some blue here. Some red. Some red for the tongue first. And for the cartoon effects, I'll add to that a little bit. And take a look at that sketch while I play a little funky music. You ready? For the Wheel of Features, we'll create another type. Come with me. All right, the Wheel of Features, always good for a face or two. And we spin it like this, the outer one, eyes, nose, mouth. Let's give it a good spin there, see what we get. 
And where it stops, nobody knows. Get it? Knows. N-O-S-E, knows. Okay. You got it, I know. All right, let's see what we get here. Well. Okay, well, let's see. We'll go with that woman right there with the red hair, big eyes with glasses. She's, well, let's see. I'll go with that one there. And her nose right there. Good face. Let's see what we get. Let's see what she looks like. Uh, all right. Bangs up and around. Give her a flower in her hair. Some lines for her bangs, it looks like. And hair comes down like that. And a big, full face she's got. All right. The eyes. Well, she's wearing glasses, so let's give her big, googly eyes. Coming back like that. And her eyebrows. Oh, they're going up. She's happy. And her nose. Well, she's got a pointy nose. But we're going to turn it the other way because her face is facing this way. So, And her mouth is smiling with teeth. Yeah, this is a great sketch. If I say so myself. Of course, I didn't do it, folks. The Wheel of Features did it. There we go. I like that. Okay, next up, the feature of the day. Crazy mixed up body parts is a lot of fun to do, and it's easy. Now, what I've got here are two pieces of 11 by 17 paper, uh, but you can use bond paper, 8.5 by 11, or even uh, notebook paper, as long as the pieces uh, uh, match up. Now, what I've done here is I've drawn some lines on it in thirds, but first I'm going to fold it in thirds, just like that, and over, and it should look like that, right? Nothing to it. Then, where I've drawn those lines, I'm going to get a scissors, and I'm going to cut right in on those lines, two pieces. Now I'm using two pieces. You can use three pieces or even more and have that many more combinations. But I'm just going to use two for demonstration purposes. This side now, this side here. This is so much fun to do. Where do you see this? And this one and we're done. Okay, now what we do is we start drawing. And that's what really makes this thing work. So we're gonna lay it down. And you don't cut into the middle, by the way. I don't know if I said that before, but you only cut the outside flaps. Okay, now I'm going to tape this down. I'm going to go moving all over the place for you. And grab a pen and start drawing. Now, you don't want to draw the features past their particular third. For instance, the head is not going to go past that line right there. So I'll draw a character. Just any old face will do. Some curly hair. And some eyes, and a nose, and a mouth. I'm going kind of quick here, because I want to get to to show you how to do this. Now, on the next one, we'll draw the body. Draw the bow tie, and here's his arm, and here's his hands coming out, the other side. And again, you don't want to go past that third. And here's his jacket. Put some lapels on this guy. Let's dress him up right. And his pants. Now on the next third, his legs. And some feet. Okay, now once you've got that done, what you do is you want to fold over the flaps like this. Now watch this. Take one at a time. Take them one from the left. Or the right, doesn't matter. I'm going to take them one from the left. Fold it over there. And I'm going to draw another kind of face, just a head. Uh, you know what? I'll draw a cat. Why not? Doesn't have to be a human. In fact, it's going to make it a little funnier. And to draw a cat, you start with a football shape, and then a diamond shape, and right out of the point of that diamond, a smile coming out one way, and then the other, uh, some whiskers, and two eyes, and two ears, and you got that. Now let's do the, uh, the middle third, and this time we'll take it from the right, and let's see what I can do for this one. How about, uh, I know, a muscle man. Some bulges. Looks like a sack of potatoes, doesn't it? And a fist for the hand. And wearing like a leopard. 
with some spots on it. Okay, and you get the idea. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to bring out a prepared one for the sake of time. It's like a cooking show, you know? It's like when they bring out the finished uh, souffle. I'm going to get it right now and show you crazy mixed up body parts. You're going to like this one a lot, too. Now, here it is, and I'll tape it down. And here's the guy we drew, all colored in. And watch this. With a cat. Some legs, look at that. Oh, this is getting crazier by the second. And just keep turning, and you would be surprised at just how many different combinations that there are with just two pieces of paper. And as I said, if you wanted to put, oh, look at that one. That's a great one. If you wanted to make two or three more pages, you could have almost unlimited amount. Okay, let me see there. Next up, cartoon doodle tricks. <laughs> remember at the beginning of the show I said I was going to have a bee landing on a guy's face and remember I said it would be a lot of fun well it is a lot of fun except for the guy but some friends stop by and they're going to see this happen too did anybody ever get stung by a bee? Yeah. you got stung by a bee not a lot of fun is it? well let's draw a bee right now and that's a very easy thing to do. It starts with an oval, like this. Notice how I move my hand around the page before I'm... Because that way I get a nice loosely drawn shape. You don't want to start drawing like this, holding it real tight and squeaking that marker on the page, because you know what happens? You get a real tight look to your work. It doesn't look good. So I'm going to make that oval just by doing this, and then lower the pen, and you get a nicely drawn shape. Okay, now bees usually have that stripe on their back, so let's do that. And we'll color that in black. Uh, let me see, what else does a bee have? How about some lines on it like that? And what are these? His wings. His wings, that's right, that'll be his wings. Put some lines on that because they're kind of see-through. And we'll draw the head. And who knows what these are? Scott, what are these? His antennas. His antennas, that's right. Put a couple more in here, just like that. And there it is. The bee. Now, I told you it would land on a guy's face, didn't I? By the way, that's not really a lot of fun, but in a cartoon world, it's okay. So, we don't see the guy, do we? But you know what? With a couple more lines, you'd be very surprised. Put one under there, and a big U shape, just like this. And an ear, one here, one here. And do you see what I see? The bee landed on the guy's face, it turns into the, guy, into the guy's face, and he's screaming. Ouch! Ow! And there it is. That's why I love doodle tricks so much. I love the surprise endings. Okay, well, that's all the time we have for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and you at home. And for our Blitz tip today, I think it's a good one. When you're working at something, right, that's something you really like to do, you don't mind it, do you? Yeah. No. And practice is the only way to get better, right? So hard work pays off. And if you enjoy what you're doing, it should be fun. So working hard at something you enjoy should be fun. Look at this fellow driving, gliding down the sliding board of practice, and he's going to land to this big soft pillow called success. I'm Bruce Blitz saying thanks for being with me, and come on, guys, help me out. Keep, Keep on, on cartooning. cartooning. That's right. Thanks. Bye-bye.